All right, we're out here with the Carbonet 19 catapult glider. Uh, this is the trimming video we mentioned. So we'll go ahead and uh, and we'll show you how to trim this. So the first thing is to take your um, your catapult stick and all that, um, and we're going to tie this guy together. back around, stick my finger through here, I can do it correctly. And there we go. Alright, so we're ready to launch it. Now I have, um, I've given this airplane one coat of unthinned, just straight out of the can, um, butrite dope. Didn't do any thinning of it or anything. I, I rubbed it in with a, uh, a paper towel, sanded it, gave it a uh, quick squirt of paint of a couple colors, give it a high visibility color scheme, and gave it another quick sanding. Uh, and then I balanced it uh, according to the CG uh, instructions we gave in the video, which is uh, two, and a, uh, 2 and 1 16th inches back from the uh, wing leading edge. Um, so first of all, I have one out here that's already trimmed out. So I'll show you what you're looking for is be able to throw this airplane and have it go away like that, transition in, and it flattens out into a nice glide. So this is an untrimmed airplane, obviously. I've made no adjustments. I'm going to give it a quick test glide. And looks about right, maybe a little nose heavy. So. What I will do now is I'm going to take um, my catapult here and I just take one strand of rubber and hook it on. I want to grip as far down on this finger grip as possible. I'm just going to launch level. And it hooks around pretty hard to the left, so we're going to give it a little bit of washing and wedge and also is kind of diving in, so we're going to give it a little bit of up elevator. Alright, so I've got a little bit of a piece of scrap wood out of my kit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to break a piece of this off. And basically I'm going to mount this right next to my wash-in wedge, just to enlarge it. And this is not tidy or anything, this is just, you know, we're making it work. Because... The goal of these is just to make the, the airplane fly well. You can paint over it later if, if you want a perfect finish. I'm going to carve that back to that wedge cross section. And now I'm going to cut another piece off here. And I'm going to basically shape this into 1 16th square. Since we dove in pretty good, what I've got is, this piece is about yay long. You see relative to the tail how big it is. And I glue it to the top of my stab. And I'm doing this on the right hand side because I'm left handed. So you add up elevator to the right side. If you can not glue it to yourself. So there you go. Alright, so we're going to give it another um, hand launch test and then we'll catapult it again. Alright, so still seems maybe a little nose heavy. We may move the CG back. We'll, we'll see what happens. What's important to understand is at this stage you're just trimming for the launch pattern and a, um, a stable glide pattern. As far as tweaking the glide, uh, we do that later. And that's what happens when you grip the uh, finger grip wrong. So we'll try that again in a minute. Okay, so I um, just repaired my stab. I whacked it pretty good there. So basically that launch was meaningless. And that looks good. Alright, so 
what you saw there, that's the pattern that you want to see. And I did give it on two loops. I should have just done one, but we got away with it. So we saw that nice uh, climb, the model pitched up, started coming off to the left, and then transitioned into the glide. Now you notice it went nose down as it was coming around. Um, and that's indicative probably of too far forward of a CG, um, which is interesting because the other one liked that CG. So we're going to uh, take a little bit of the lead out, and then we're going to do another, another launch, um, and we'll still do level, and then we'll start working on launching um, upwards. So, be right back. Alright, so I carved a little bit of the lead out of the nose, and we're going to give this a quick test glide. That was a terrible test glide, that was my fault, but it looks good. Alright, so now we will... I want to mention something, since you saw me do it earlier. What happened when I um, cut the, hit the stab was I gripped it like this, and so as it came along, hit my knuckle. What you want to do is you want to hold like this, at this angle, so then when you're launching, um, doing a full pullback, you'll be holding it down like so. Um, I've got CA all over my hands, so I'm having to grip this really hard. Uh, you can put some sandpaper on here to, uh, to reduce that behavior. Or to reduce the slipperiness. There we go. Alright, so here we go. was it did stall the transition um, and then it went nose down and kind of stayed nose down so um, I'm actually going to add a little more up elevator I think that's the, the major problem there and then at that point where I uh, go ahead and where I go to regular launches because it's safe at this point so be right back okay so we've added another little uh, little bitty trim tab right here so we've gone from this length out another uh, about a quarter of an inch. So hopefully this will give us a, a good pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll do a full-on launch here and see what happens. I'm going to pull it back super hard, but we will. We'll give it some. Head. All right, we're going to try this again. There we go. And it stalls. And I got to do some repair work. Okay, so um, yeah, we messed ourselves up good there, but I um, got the airplane put back together. Don't fly around fence posts. So what I've done is I've added a little more up elevator because the airplane's not getting enough to pull itself on through. I also added a little bit of right rudder. I think the uh, I put too much uh, rudder offset in when we build it. So that'll counteract that and hopefully it'll help it hook around more in the transition. So, here it goes. Almost. Almost. And almost put it in another fence post. Alright, so the thing we saw there is it stalled, but it was coming around to the right like you want it to. Um, and then it goes to the left, it was pulling to the left as it was starting to pull out there. So we're very close. I'm just having trouble gripping it enough to pull it back enough. So uh, I'm going to just dig deep on this next one. All right, here it goes. All right, we're gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna put some sandpaper on there because I, I I lost my grip on it. I, I can't pull it back any harder. All right, I have glued sandpaper on here because my hands are literally, I, I, my fingerprints are gone from the CA. Oh well, here it goes. So we still need a little more up trim. And another fence. Oh, that was fortunate. Okay. Be right back. Okay, so what we were seeing was it was holding that steep bank in the glide. We don't want that. So I basically doubled the size of my right rudder trap a trim tab. Um, I also added another little piece of um, of up elevator trim here, so it's basically another uh, 3 16th inch long strip. Um, so that'll help us pull on around. Um, it's definitely still acting under elevated. Oh. 
pause the video. Okay, we're getting a little closer. Alright, so I noticed we're still cranking around pretty hard in the glide, so I increase, I add another um, little bit of wash-in wedge, sorry, this one right here. So hopefully that'll uh, help alleviate that. Let me check. We actually have a little bit of a, a warp in the right wing. That's probably not helping matters. Let's see how that does. Oh, there we go. Almost. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna try launching a little steeper and uh, I think that'll help us get this get this right. There we go. Almost perfect transition. And in we go to our nice glide. Still probably a little bit nose heavy. I think I may have knocked something on this one. Definitely. Yep. All right, so it's a little nose heavy. You can keep tweaking that. Um, I'm not launching super high because I actually broke the catapult rubber band. I don't know how I did that, but a piece of it is missing, and I'm not not giving getting full energy on launch. Um, so you will hopefully not have that problem. Uh, but anyway, there you have it. Uh, any questions, post them in the comments section below, and we'll talk at you later. All right, Carbonet 19 catapult glider. Let's see how it goes. All right, folks, there you have it, Carbonet 19 Catapult Glider. Um, available now in the store, so go check it out. See y'all later.